Here's Stringer for Wallace. Wallace for Hickey. Hickey for Stringer on the loop. Horgan. Horgan tossed on for Boss. Boss. Lovely hands from him. Round the outside goes Heaslip. Jamie Heaslip almost there. Boss can play scrum half. Skipping away from the challenge. Now Wallace. And now it's Darcy. Darcy, five metres to go. Stringer. Wallace. Sheehan. I don't think he was quite expecting that. It's there for Ireland again. Stringer waits. And now picks. Wallace. Horgan. Horgan. Still they move forward. O'Connell has it. Hickey. Dennis Hickey. He's lip. Easterby. Easterby's in. Simon Easterby gets his second try. And Ireland are within a whisker of 50 points. And a fairness to Ireland, they had to work hard to get that try in the end. For his first try, Easterby, I think it was Paul O'Connell who pushed him over, and that time it was his fellow lock, Mallow Kelly, who gave the vital shove to take him over the line. There you see O'Kelly behind, and indeed O'Connell joining in, and of course Shane Horgan as well. So two tries, his reward, six for Ireland, and another kick to come. Right out of the touchline for Paddy Wallace. But the way he's been kicking this afternoon, those goalposts should look as wide as the Liffey. Crowd not so sure, but now they can cheer. The flags go up, and it's nine out of nine with the boot. And that's a performance much appreciated by the Irish skipper. Yeah, that says it all, doesn't it? That sudden kick out of from the touchline. Composure personified. Straight down the middle. Brilliant kick.